Uh, if you have sensitive skin, girl, this video is for you. Don't exfoliate every day, please, y'all. I'm not judging you, but let's start it. And it's nice and moisturized. Do y'all see that? I sleep with socks. Y'all don't gotta sleep with socks. It don't matter. All the doodle particles is getting on your toothbrush. When y'all talking to people, y'all don't wanna be like, oh yeah, you taking one, you're done. Hey y'all, it's your girl Bree Vans and a Spassky. So y'all know what I'm here for. Today we're gonna do a little hygiene routine tips and tricks and how to stay clean and fresh and smell good all day. Let's just say I upgraded, you know what I'm saying? I've been using this stuff for months now. I wouldn't put y'all onto nothing that I'm not doing right now. Everybody wanna smell good. Everybody want that clean girl aesthetic. So today we're gonna be getting into the tea. I'm gonna put y'all on to what I use. We're gonna start with vitamins first and what I take in the morning. So the first thing I take in the morning when I wake up, a cod of oil, it will not fail you. You will never be sick. It's literally one a day. You take in one, you're done. It's vitamin A, D, cod of oil, fish oil, all of that good stuff. I say get seven C's, Amazon, next day. Seven C's is going to get you right. This right here, PhD, the boric acid. I will always say do your research before you get anything. I'm not a doctor. I don't got no PhD. But I'm going to just tell you how it's been working for me. Ooh, that rhyme, like, stop playing. If you have any odor, yeast infection, it's a suppository, so you have to, you know, supposit it. Let's say you use it for the night, the next morning, gone. Any bad bacteria, gone. Next is the VH Essentials Prebiotic, Probiotic, Cranberry Pill, all in one. It has 60 capsules. I've been taking this for about two years now. I love it. I like these specific brands because they work for me. I'm very sensitive. And lastly, for vitamins... Apple cider vinegar gummies. I don't take none of these every day. I only take cod liver oil every day. Apple cider vinegar gummies work with the gut health, gluten free, vegan, non GMO. This right here is gonna have you set. And I had 30 of them, and let's just say I have two more left. And moving on to the hair. If y'all been watching my channel before, I definitely did a big chop a month ago. And let's just hear my hair is flourishing, okay? It's been growing really fast. And to take care of it, I go to the hairstylist. I eat down with the edges nowadays, like dramatic. Yeah, miel. My yell miel. Leave-in conditioner it has rosemary in it. it. Supports longer and healthier hair. And it definitely makes your hair feel moisturized. Your hair's not gonna be dry. Next, this is what my hairdresser suggested me to get, which is my Zanny. It's the 25 Benefit Leave-in Conditioner. All you gotta say is it got coconut in it. I'ma get it. It smells. It really does smell good. It has your hair feeling fresh. UV filter and heat protection up to 450 degrees. So this is a heat protectant and it's a leave-in conditioner. Stop playing. I'm going to try the Mazzani collection. The oils that I do use is castor oil. And I use jojoba oil. Definitely does help my hair grow. I don't think the brand matters. But I like this. It really does keep my hair moisturized and oiled up. Wash day. Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't remember the last time I washed my hair by myself. Like, I always have a hairdresser do it. My mom. I don't like washing my hair. But the products that I used when I was washing my hair. Deep conditioner, coconut cream, Auntie Jackie's. I kept it in for about, what, 10 to 15 minutes? It made my hair feel rejuvenated again. So anything coconut, you know. If y'all know, y'all know. For the washing part, um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore Shampoo. It's okay. It's not that bad. The Aussie shampoo is actually good too. It's very thick though. It's very thick. And this one is runny. I don't really like how the bottom looks. I don't know. Maybe because I haven't used it in mad long. And for the type of hair that I have in right now is boho. It is a little bit, you know, tangled up. But not too much on me. Because I didn't get all human hair. I got human and synthetic. I just spray my water and I spray some of this. And I'm Gucci. Next we're going to get into the oral hygiene. Your teeth matters. Your breath also matters. When y'all talking to people, y'all don't want to be like, oh yeah, and stink. You can fix that today. I'm not even gonna lie. Go to the dentist too. Sometimes it might not just be what you're using, but it's also like cavities or something behind. You need to fix that out with your dentist. First of all, number one hygiene tip. Make sure you have a cover for your toothbrush because you leaving it in the bathroom, all that bacteria when you flush the toilet. First of all, Flush the toilet with it closed. Do not flush it with it up because all that water and bacteria and all that nasty stuff is coming back up out the toilet. It still is bacteria all in that bathroom, so cover your toothbrush. All the doodle particles is getting on your toothbrush. <laughs> I could literally get this at the non nasty store, Amazon, Target. Secondly, I use Arm Hammer, the Advanced White 
this is dumb good um it makes my teeth also very white i'm not even gonna lie y'all see it like stop playing because i used to use crest and colgate and all the other you know big brands but it doesn't work for me y'all know i'm so big on act no alcohol in your mouthwash definitely helps this right here you got the flaws at that get into it you get it from target amazon walgreens anywhere cvs this is a tongue scraper when i tell you this is a life changer when you scrub that tongue because the tongue is what carries the most bacteria this is the routine right here brush your teeth first then you take your tongue scraper right here use the mouthwash do that for about a minute and lastly use the floss all of it all of it do it all go to the dentist check up on your teeth regularly well, cavities can make your breath stink too stop eating candy y'all too much candy too much sweets stop it y'all need to stop eating junk food please you can use all the right products but then you're still eating bad internally is dirty apple cider vinegar gummies is literally for your gut apple cider vinegar is good period it's moving different it's breathing different next let's get into this face when i was in middle school i was like oh i have acne maybe one little pimple and that's what caused me to get acne because i started using a whole bunch of different stuff if you go to the dermatologist and they give you something use it and try it out for like almost more than three weeks if you use it for one week and you break out it, it gotta get worse before it get better i found the stuff that worked for my face is mostly sensitive stuff and things that have no scent that's why my face is you know getting a little clear right now or whatever it feels way more clear than what it was this right here it's so simple because i used to use dial soap for my face it did clear my face but it was too strong on my face now i just use dove it has no scent not too much going on boom to cleanse it i use the cerave it's for normal to dry skin it hydrates it no you feel refreshed after you use some cerave i will always stick by cerave i pat it dry with a towel with a paper towel i also want to get them disposable face towels because you could just boom 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 and throw it away have your hands clean when y'all do your edges and y'all get pimples might like right here on your forehead or y'all wear wigs and the glue irritates y'all make sure to clean your forehead because there's dirt on your forehead too and then to moisturize my face of course cerave as you can see it's almost done this is always being used by me like i use this on my lips too these three ordinary serums they changed my whole facial routine hyaluronic acid niacinamide and the caffeine solution they are a game changer for my skincare but i do need to get the aztec clay mask again and here is cranberry juice y'all try to get cranberry juice with no sugar in it it's so good when i have a pimple these little pimple patches do it every single time you put it on at night right wake up in the morning take it off that pimple is gone overnight spot patches they really do help i don't know what is in here it's probably crack but this is good uh, next let's get into the shower routine i love taking showers like i just took a shower before this and everything i'm about to tell y'all is what i did in the showers let's get into it i can't stress it enough look at the texture on this thing do y'all see that this is an exfoliating african net whoever invented this thank you you don't feel dirty after your shower you feel like a new person take it behind your back boom 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 i double cleanse ladies let's get into the double cleansing what are we doing i'm not judging you i'm not judging you but let's start it first of all dr browners do y'all see how much i have left I don't think y'all see that but it's not much left baby unscented one because i used to have the peppermint whoo that was too much it felt like every time i got out the shower it was just feeling like a pack of gum but this one is the unscented one i use it for the downstairs area too the dove these two are unscented get get cleansed are you serious right now after you cleanse your body you want to get a good smell of soap okay i used dove doesn't work for my body native is not bad i tried the cucumber one and i tried the vanilla one both of them smell really good but they don't work the best for my body but method body this is a plant-based cleanser it's dermatologist tested this hydrates my body the most it smells so good next i'm gonna try the natrium one i've been hearing a lot of people say that works for their body hydrates them all of that method been working for me this is my second one if you keep re-upping on them that's how you know they're working now let's say if you want to shave today you know you want to do an everything shower i say get the razors with the soap in it shaving cream in this it's mad smooth when it goes on your skin i only shave my pits because i get wet waxes monthly I'm definitely gonna try to wax my own pits one day i don't know yet though i want to get laser and now for the exfoliating part 
I do love me a good salt body scrub. It smells like if Dolce & Gabbana and Daisy were to collab on a scent. It's like flower a little bit. Uplifting Boost Aroma Bath & Body Works. I don't really use much Bath & Body Works stuff because they stuff don't really work for my body. Scrub is definitely going to do it for me. I like how it feels on my body. I don't use dry brushes because I think that's a little too harsh on me. It does help with like blood circulation and like when you go towards the heart. Do upwards get the blood flowing now I will say have a signature scent because what you do in the shower also matters what you do out of the shower as well my smell is a coconut slash vanilla slash baby powder type of scent mm. I just love smelling that when I get out the shower I use vanilla coconut and a little bit of baby powder to stay in but I don't use this every day don't exfoliate every day please y'all speaking of exfoliating we have to use some KP I've been using this for eight months I'm not even gonna lie the KP bump eraser body scrub it definitely helps with ingrown hairs I've seen a big difference in my body and as you can see it's almost done I got these two in like a set together but I never tried the wash it smells like honey pot we're gonna try to wash out we're gonna see but I'm not gonna use it every day I got my little soap in here it's the dial antibacterial soap this is so good this is too strong on my face on my body everything but I use it for my piercing my belly piercing make sure to clean your belly piercing every day like at least if it's not twice a day once a day at least every single day so now when you get out the shower y'all this is one of my favorite routines make sure that you are changing out your towels often and your rags use a butt rag and a face rag two different ones the towels please I switch it out every four or five days because what's the point of cleaning yourself and then drying yourself with a dirty towel when I first get out the shower I go in with this Aveeno stress relief moisturizing lotion like it smells like baby lotion but it's really for sensitive skin that's why I use this like my friends or my family when they come over and they bring their products I will test it out cuz I'm not gonna buy something if I didn't test it out first when Ashley came to my house and she stepped over she had a little EOS lotion baby I was using that up I bought the pink one before I don't really like the pink one. It's pomegranate. I'm more of a coconut vanilla girl. And the purple one is vanilla. And it definitely was mad moisturizing. It felt so good. So I'm going to buy that again. Uh, if you have sensitive skin, girl, this video is for you. This is Victoria's Secret. It's a smell good lotion. So after I lotion up my body, I also lotion up my feet. If it's a nice shower and you're going to sleep, use Vaseline or A&D. Something that's very thick. You put on a sock to lock in the moisture. I sleep with socks. Y'all yeah, don't got to sleep with socks. It don't matter. This and amber vanilla so good so I mix them together and it's nice and moisturizing so for the deodorants now I'm still trying to figure this out y'all native is so good native is this native no 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 it don't work on my body I don't use nothing else but Mitchum I know it has a lot of aluminum in it I know the girls like to tussle Mitchum works for me but I did start using this Dove Zero Aluminum because Dove really is like iffy to me but the spray definitely does smell mad good it's been a hard, long fight with deodorants. Aluminum is not good for you. If you don't know, do your research on aluminum and try to find a zero aluminum deodorant that works for you. This is probably my favorite part of just hygiene and just smelling good all day. This really matters, y'all. The lotions and the perfumes. The perfumes is going to stay on your body all day. I do want to get a body butter. Shea butter is also really good. I used to have it, but I finished it, y'all. I'm going to separate my scents baby powder i like vanilla and i like a good boss lady old lady businesswoman type of scent i'm gonna start with the baby powder i just started getting into body oils and let me just say body oils is where it's at not using body oils what are you doing this is the chanel 5 there's obviously a big bottle but i just want to test it out with the body oil and let's just say i got this two weeks ago almost done it's like baby powder, fresh scent. We get into the more expensive ones, Cartier. But I'm starting to build up my perfume collection. I am obsessed with perfume now. Like every winter, every birthday, I'm asking for perfume myself. It's so good to smell good. I've been trying not to use it every day, but it's just so good. We got the more vanilla, you know, cashmere, coconut, oily scents. Miss Billie Eilish eats okay this is more of a musky scent it's very strong it's like a fall scent to me and it's not really fall anymore it's about to be spring it's like a deep scent and of course this is probably my favorite one like this and the chanel 5 is my favorite scent and i mix them together i do layer scents i'm gonna tell you how yep it's the libre this is probably in my top three and this is number one it smells like a businesswoman plus vanilla i forgot one for the baby powder scent dolce and gabbana or femme it's obviously in French, and I don't know French. It smells like a sweet baby wipe. So soft, 
so pretty. I be smelling myself while I'm at work, like clean Egyptian musk. This is the body oil that I got. Woo, it smells so good, y'all. Like, put it on you at 7 a.m., you smell it at 7 p.m. So next we have the businesswoman scents, Miss Daisy right here. Ah, I love Daisy, y'all. And as you can see, this is my second bottle, and it's almost done, like. But I think this is more of a summer scent to me. I don't use it much in the winter. Let me got Miss Dior, baby. Like, everybody got some of the Dior. I literally love this scent. It's so good. I wear it out every single day. It's, like, in the top three. It's a flowery, girly scent. And so is Burberry Her. I want to get these first before I get the actual thing. Burberry Her is, like, a flowery, a little bit of a businesswoman scent. And lastly, for the body oils, I got this on tiktok shop it's called pure instinct it stays on you a long time but it doesn't stay on you all day i think body oil stay on you longer take some vaseline rub it in your body take some of this rub it in on your neck here here rub it I take some rub it in my hand and i rub it on my clothes because your clothes keep the scent in all day so if your clothes smell stink and you go so slick on it you use the right laundry detergents because laundry de definitely determines how your clothes are going to smell. All is good. And I use the downy for the softener. So when I take it out the drawer, smelling good. And then I just put the perfumes on top of it. W smells. And of course, when you're out the shower, you want to have a good smelling home, a good smelling room. Change your sheets very often. Two weeks is the max you need to keep them sheets on. Make sure that when you take the sheets off, you spray your bed with Lysol, and then you take a good smelling, I say a perfume one. I use the coconut one from Victoria's Secret because I don't use that much on my body. Boom, I put the covers on. Then I spray it again. I'm going to sleep smelling good. And when I'm going to sleep, I also use some baby powder. I just feel like it helps me sleep better. I don't know if it really does. I sleep like a baby too. Bath & Body Works candles are really good. But when my mom introduced me to Goose Creek, baby, you could just open it up and it's still going to smell good. When you're also using your candles, every time you use it, snip the wicks before you use them because that'll make it last longer. I learned that not too long ago. <laughs> Incense stays in your house for a long time. I'm going to stick to my candles and my air fresheners. Air fresheners, top tier. If you don't take a shower, then what makes you think you about to smell good? You could put all the perfumes and the lotions and the deodorants on you want, but... You need that shower. For on the travel, on the go, have a little girly bag. You might not smell your perfume on you, so I go in with Sol de Janeiro. This is my first time trying 71. I don't think I'm going to get it again because it's very strong. Don't get me wrong, I do love it, but I will get the pink one again. Smelling good on the go. This is my travel perfume. Every time I go somewhere, bam. And I just be walking by smelling like mad caramel. For a little baby powder clean fresh scent, I have the Amazing Grace. I got this as a Christmas gift, but it's so good. Like, I think I'm going to get the big one. When I finish this one, it smells very clean and fresh. When you get out the shower, this is what it smells like. And then for hand lotions, make sure that you are moisturizing your hands. We you wash your hands so much that your hands just be dry. Like, I hate having dry hands. I want to get cuticle oil. I'm finna get it on Amazon real soon. I feel like my cuticles be real dry sometimes, especially in the morning when I'm like rushing out going to train. I look, I'm like, damn, girl. This is men's lotion from Bath and Body Works. It smells so good. Men's lotion smell better. And then I have some Aquaphora. I use it on my lips. I use it on my hands. And I also have some scented hand sanitizer. I love me a good body oil. I love me a hand sanitizer and a hand lotion. That just smells so good. To wrap that up, just make sure that you always have a little bag with wipes in it, with feminine hygiene, all the pads and liners that you need. With all the girly stuff, you never know. You just never know. I think I put you on to everything that I know, everything that I've learned. When I was 13 and 14, I was watching these type of videos. When you grow up more and more, you're going to see that not everything agrees with your body and you shouldn't use what everybody else uses. Don't be so harsh on yourself like, oh, this is not working, I'm dripped. You try another one and see what works for your body and you won't, you won't figure it out. Spending money to get the good stuff is like, damn, I gotta spend all this money. But yeah, y'all, that's all for this little hygiene haul slash routine slash how to smell good all day.